Me and my dad, we couldn't afford electricity. We like your vibe. Hey, thank you, Clean. Thank you. Thank you, Ace Clean. Um, this is, I, I'm going to say this is a trigger warning for maybe some people. Um, this is my first time coming clean. I like your vibe. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Darkens. Oh, uh, thank you, Darkens. Hey. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey, man, I love your vibe. Wait. Holy shit. What? what? First time chatters. You guys are popping off. Thank you for the followers, guys. Uh, I'm going to say trigger warning. I'm going to say this is a trigger warning stream. We like your vibe. Wait, 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 what's with all these follows coming in? Keep it up, vibe. Hey, thank you guys, thank you guys, it means a lot. Thank you for the follows, holy shit. Holy shit. But, like, anyone who's new coming into this right now, I'm gonna say this is a trigger warning. But, going back to what I was just saying, thank you guys for the follows. Can we get shoutouts for these beautiful people coming into chat? Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys, I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. But um, I want to jump back into what I was saying. This is a trigger warning, so this is this is me talking about a lot of past life stuff. Uh, well, so many people coming in. Keep it up, man. Your vibe is cool. Um, thank you. Um, I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say. Um, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the follows and uh, coming into chat. Uh, if we can, can we share some love to these beautiful people? Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why is there so many fault? Like, what the fuck's going on? Thank you guys. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Your stories will, will help help others. That's exactly why I'm sharing it. That's exactly why I'm sharing Echo Blue. Um, I've been through a lot in life, man. And I'm not proud of a lot of things I've done. But I uh, will say I don't regret anything. Because it taught me. Even though it's been fucking rough. And I've got to live. I've got to dream about it. Every single fucking night. Every single day. Some of the things that I did and went through. Which I'll get more into in a bit. That fucking haunt me. You know, I lost a lot of people. A lot of people passed away. A lot of people were life in prison. I lost my mom. I lost my dad. I lost half, like, basically all my grandparents. All my grandparents are dead. They passed away. And you know what they said to me? Fuck you. They literally, they said fuck you to me. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because it taught me a lot. It hurt. It sucked. It caused me a lot of pain. And I was not even, like, 20 yet by the time. I'm only 23, by the way, guys. I'm only 23. I'm sorry if I miss anything in chat. Because I want to make this stream sharing about who I am, the true story behind why I call myself the King Ping Panda, and coming clean a lot about who I am. Not for any sympathy, not for attention. All I ask is for you, no matter where the fuck you come from, no matter what the fuck has happened to you, that there's always a way out, there's always change, there's always something to do in life. We can all get better one way or another, and sometimes it's okay to reach out for help. I've reached out to help so many times. I've been in the mental ward twice, I've been in the prison, I am proud of that. But I'm grateful that I suffered that sort of shit to be able to build up who I am, to help me get to where I am. And this is the most peaceful life has ever been. This is the most successful I've ever legally been. Love you, man. You're an awesome person. Thank you so much. You're awesome as well. That's This is what I am. This is who I am. And I want to start sharing my story. I want to start telling people. I want to start to keep supporting those youth. I want to keep supporting those adults. I've had so many people reach out to me and say thank you. Thank you for still being here to this day. And yeah, I've had multiple attempts in life. Because I just didn't see anything anymore. Tabbed you, tabbed you up, you fucking go. I appreciate you, Boogie. I appreciate you, homie. I see you. And I, like, fuck, man. I've, I've gone through a lot in life, man. And, like, you know, I'm lucky to be here. And I was, I used to, you know, fuck, man. I don't know how to even start a lot of my story sometimes. Because there's so fucking much to tell. And I used to be the kingpin of where I live. Some people, believe it if you want or not. Believe it if you want or not, but... When I was a kid, because me and my dad were so poor, like I was saying before, because me and my dad were so poor, we couldn't afford electricity. He couldn't afford to keep me. Like, we were literally using a fucking camping stove and literally light, like, you know, flashlights and candles to see in our house at nighttime. And I was like, fucking, I was only just turned a teenager as well. And yeah, I went to a private school. No one paid for it. I paid for it. And because of that responsibility, because my mum used to beat the fuck out of me. My dad was never around before my mum left. My dad would travel overseas living the rock star life. My mum would spend all his money on, you know, sub hardcore substances. The first time I ever got stabbed was from my mother. And that, that, like, you know, a lot of people would take a step back being like, what the fuck? Your mother? A lot of people didn't believe it. I'm like, yeah, first person to stab me was my mother. You know, it's on my fucking hand. She used to beat me till I was unconscious and bleeding on the floor. And I was just fucked up. But I'm grateful for it. I'm so happy that I went through that because it made me into who I am today. Such a strong, independent motherfucker. Sure, it fucking sucks. Sure, there's a lot of shit behind it. 
by I'd be able to teach me to help able to help other people in life, be able to help so many people who are struggling, so many kids I've seen reach out to me who are going through, you know, broken homes, broken families, through, you know, drug addicted parents and shit. It's sad to see that stuff, but sometimes it just it just it's just how it is. I grew up around, you know, crack houses and trap houses and shit, and that's all I knew. And I went to a private school with like some of the people I was in class with. Like they're fucking millionaires right now. They're literally millionaires. And I did go to one of the best schools in the ACT, and one of the top five schools for education in the ACT. One of the most successful rates for students in the ACT. Holy shit, baked fresh coming with a 53 person raid. What the fuck? Holy shit. Holy shit, thank you for the raid. Holy fuck. I want to say, literally, I, you guys, I was not expecting a stream like this, and I'm sorry if this has triggered anyone. Thank you for the 30 bits. Holy fuck. I'm like... Baked fresh, thank you so much for the raid, homie. Holy fuck, thank you for the 30 bits, shorty. Welcome on in. I, I was.